When you sit in any space where you think there is power, there is energy, you always cross your legs because that will attract a totally different kind of energy towards you. Well, why uh, if there's an energetic situation, you always are asked to cross your legs, not to stretch your legs in the direction. Well, this respect thing is a more newer expression of that, essentially because you can receive anything that comes towards you in many different ways. The yogic intention always is to receive it from the higher aspects of your life. You know there is anahata, which is the meeting of two triangles. Below that is Manipuraka, Swadhisthana and Muladhara, which are all chakras representing different aspects of survival process. Survival, basic survival, reproductive process, maintenance process, all survival related. Here it comes and there are two triangles intersecting each other because this is ultimate ecstasy, this is realization, this is power, this is love and these sections, these triangles intersecting. When there is a consecrated space, what it means is, there is a powerful energy which has the possibility of transforming you. That energy must come to you always from the highest possibility that you can receive. If you can receive from your sahasrar, it would be too fantastic. That is the reason the moment any Indian person goes into a temple, first thing is they want to expose this. They keep it wet. In a proper temple, they are told, even in the Dhyanalinga temple, people go wet themselves, a wet head because they are hoping this energy will enter here. It didn't work, so hoping here <laughs> didn't work, then they will take… hoping this will have work, nothing worked, then they will say this. But they don't want to go here because these are survival processes. We don't want to enhance them, we want to enhance other dimensions of life which will enhance our life because if you survive better, if you survive, it's good. It's, it's very essential we survive. But surviving better than somebody is not a life goal. It's a waste of time because whatever you do, you're not going to survive forever. Hello? Whatever you may do, even minus the pandemic, you will not survive forever. So there is no need to invest too much in the direction of survival. So, because of this, the whole culture being… understanding this dimension, they created the societies in a certain way. Well, today what you find is a whole distorted version of that, but fundamentally it is still there that uh, when you go to any consecrated space, you're like this because you want it to enter here, you want to become blissful, ecstatic, doesn't work, at least peacefulness and realization. Balance and free from all kinds of poisons that are there in the world should not enter you. So essentially you want the upper part of your body, above anahata, to be exposed to this. You don't want to sit with your legs open like this in front of a consecrated space, because that will attract a totally different kind of uh, energy towards you and that will work for you in a completely different way, which is not necessarily beneficial to you, it could be detrimental to you in many different ways. That's a reason when you sit in any space where you think there is power, there is energy, you always cross your legs and sit because you want to close the lower part of the body.